Hey Saints, it's after midnight and I got home from work like a few hours, well, about five hours ago. I'm getting ready to go to bed. But, uh, I wanted to take a minute and, and first of all glorify Jesus Christ for nothing is possible without Him and always glorify Jesus. Don't glorify any man. It says in the Word of God, give glory to Jesus Christ. Um, the Pharisees, I, I believe it was the book of John chapter 7, you have to look it up, first or second, I think the first book of John has five chapters, I think the second one has more, but I believe it was chapter 7, and um, Jesus told the Pharisees, because the Pharisees, because Jesus told the Pharisees that he is the bread of life, that he was the bread that came down from heaven when Moses was given bread to feed the Israelites when the Israelites were being delivered by the Lord um, through the woods. So the Pharisees, see, they were self-righteous and they sought the glory of man. And it's evident in the scripture because, and all over the scriptures, because they said that Moses, Moses gave bread down from heaven to the Israelites. And then Jesus Christ corrected them, corrected them and said, no, it was the Father that gave bread down from heaven, not Moses. So in other words, glory goes to the Father, not man. Then, and then Jesus Christ emphasized that he was the bread from heaven, meaning God was the one, Jesus Christ is saying he is God, that he is the one that gave the bread to Moses. Bread meaning the bread of life. Amen. And, um... Jesus also, you know, talked about, you know, how that represents, obviously, the New Testament. If you eat of the, the bread of life, which is the flesh of Jesus Christ, and drink his blood, which is the righteous wine, you will have everlasting life. The, the, the blood, drinking the blood of Jesus Christ, is not actually drinking blood. What that basically means, drinking the righteous wine. In other words, um, drinking the wine of righteousness. Um, I'm going to take a step further. It means uh, the sacrificial blood of the Lamb. When you drink of the blood of the Lamb... You are cleansing yourself spiritually. You're drinking spiritually the blood of Jesus Christ um, by offering yourself to the Lord as an atonement for sins. The Lord is saying in that scripture that he died for our sins so that we could drink of the blood of the Lamb spiritually, so that we could be cleansed of all sin. Don't get me wrong, you still have to confess your sins and repent of them and um, go through the correction. So that way the sin can be washed away by the blood of the Lamb. The Lord also talks about how to test a, a prophet um, to see if that person's of God. Not only to make sure if their word aligns with the word of God and if the prediction that they says comes to pass as the word of God says. But you also want to observe and see if this prophet seeks the glory of man or gives glory to God. So if you watch a video and you subscribe to someone and they constantly seek the glory of man, and believe me, you will know because you will see how they're getting messages of people praising them rather than God and how that prophet, that so-called prophet, is basking in the praise and the praise and glory should go to Jesus Christ alone. If that man seeks glory, a woman seeks glory for themselves, that is not a messenger God sent because God sends a messenger that does not take credit for anything, meaning, you know, that does not take credit for the works of God, meaning they give glory, praise, and honor to God and God alone, Jesus Christ, okay? Um, there's another part of scripture that I read that, it was John, John, in the book of, in the book of Revelation. Uh, an angel came to John and because John was disturbed by the revelations the Lord Jesus Christ showed him. Basically, the Lord showed him the end times, which is now, what was going to happen. So John was distressed by what he saw. So I believe an angel came to him, and he saw the angel, how beautiful the angel was. And when, when John uh, worshipped the angel, the angel said, No, glory goes to Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ. And I'm just paraphrasing here. I'm a simple messenger and servant like you are of the Most High God. 
So whatever works we do for the Lord, we have to give glory, praise, and honor to Jesus Christ because nothing moves without the power of the Lord. The Lord's works are marvelous. They're perfect, just like his statutes and his judgments in the Old and New Testament. And we as believers in Christ must let the Lord use us and perfect us for his works, for his purpose. And we cannot take credit for that because it's not our strength and our understanding that created the earth. It's not us that healed the sick, that cast demons out of people. It's not us that um, ministers or counsels or has godly wisdom. It's not us that um, feeds the hungry. Everything is moved by the power of Jesus Christ. Everything is done solely by the Holy Spirit. The Lord watches over good and evil. He watches everything. He controls everything. The Lord knows that certain things have to happen for Bible prophecy to, pass, to come to pass. And a lot of those things are going to be catastrophic. You know, and no matter how bad the situation is, you must always glorify the Father even when you're at your most vulnerable. I just had to give you this message. It fell on my spirit because a prophet is not honored in your own country. A prophet of God is not going to seek the glory of man. They will only give glory to God. So that's how you can spot a prophet of God. That prophecy has to come to pass. That cannot have not one false prophecy in your midst. It must be a perfect track record because God is the author of truth. He is not the author of lies. Their word must align with the word of God. Their message has to be truth from the word of God. It cannot be edited, added to, or taken away or, or to and from. Their message cannot tickle, but tickle itching ears. It has to be truth, raw, and bold and direct whether people like it or not. And that prophet, that's how you can tell another prophet of God, okay? That prophet will not be honored in his country. That prophet will be constantly persecuted, cursed out, basically, because and hated because of the truth that they speak. Nobody likes the truth of God. The truth of God sets us free, but nobody likes to hear that. I'm not saying most people, but a lot of people don't want to hear it. This ministry that I have, ladies and gentlemen, is going to help you as much as possible. One of the ways it's going to help you is to prepare for the coming of Christ. That if you have your own ministry, make sure you're feeding the flock the right way and that you are not taking the glory from God, because that's a sin. That you're giving the glory to God, you're giving the glory, praise, and honor to Jesus Christ, that you're telling your viewers to test the spirits like I'm telling you to test my spirits too. Don't take what I say at face value. You go straight to Jesus because glory goes to God and not me. I'm a nobody, okay? I'm just a simple, lowly messenger servant of God and that's it. I get dreams and visions and they all, a lot of them have come to pass. A lot of them are supposed to come to pass at the Lord's appointed time. This is not about me. It's all about Jesus. It's not about me. So I thought I'd pass this word on to you to make sure you give glory to Jesus. You praise Him. You honor Him. You give your life to Christ because we are living in the last days. Don't be a spirit of Pharisee. Don't be self-righteous. You know, um, calling Jesus a liar. They call Jesus a liar. When Jesus spoke nothing but truth, they said Jesus was a blasphemer because He said He was the Son of God. Jesus Christ is God. Jesus was speaking boldly in the truth. And they didn't they couldn't stand it, they didn't like it. That's why those self-righteous Pharisees are burning in hell. Now, unless you don't want to join them, please get right with God. In these last days, you cannot afford to get consumed by pride, to get consumed by self-idolatry, to get consumed by self-glorification. All the praise and honor goes to the Creator, the Lord of hosts, the Comfort, the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh, Jesus Christ, the Elohim, Yahushua HaMashiach, the Lord who is the beginning, the end, the Alpha, the Omega. Glory to the Father and the Father alone.